In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your NOR 140 measurement from your instrument using the SD card. We'll be using the NOR XFER 1020 software to do this. The first thing you'll need to do is to download the software if it is not installed already. To do that, you need to go to this website, norsonic.com forward slash release. This will take you to Norsonic's website to a download page. You'll then see a form on the right hand side where you will need to enter some details. So we're just going to download the demo version of the software. You'll need to select the product type, which is NorExfer Nor1020. And the other details in the serial and the name, if you just pop in there, demo. Once you've filled in the form, just click Submit. You'll then scroll down to the bottom of the page, and then you'll see various versions of the software. Now, if you're running Windows 7 or later, you should go with version 6. If you already have a licensed a dongle, then you should install the appropriate version as per the version of your software license. If you download the later version and your dongle is version 5, Version 6 will not work. Okay, so click the download. That will begin to download, which will take maybe a few minutes. Now you need to install the software, and the best way to do this is to make sure that there is no version of NorExfer installed previously. So remove all previous versions of the software from your PC. And the best method of installation is to install the software as an administrator. You can do this by right-clicking the software setup icon and there'll be an option to run as administrator. Now we're going to open the software. To do that you need to go to the start menu and then go down to the folder which is named Norsonic. Okay, so now you're looking for the NorExfer version 6, the one you have installed, the version number. If you click that, the window will now open. And I'll enlarge the screen. Here we have the, the Explorer type of view. On the left hand side, we have the instruments, the My Measurements folder, which is kind of like your My Documents, and access to My Computer. So, first select My Instruments, insert the SD card into the PC. SD card has now been recognized. Sometimes that pops up in the Explorer window, so just close that. You now want to connect to the SD card. So to do that, you'll need to connect using the connect icon, which is two plugs with a cable. If you connect, if you click that, you'll see the window choose instrument and connection. You'll now need to select the instrument you are using. So select NOR 140, and then select the connection type, which we are using the SD card. If you're using the USB cable, you will need to select the option here. So select your instrument, connection type, and then press OK. It now connects to the meter. It now appears in this right-hand window. You'll see NOR 140. If you double-click that, it will access the meter. You'll then see a list of folders of measurements that you've made. Now you can copy this folder into My Measurements to download that. So if I do that, drag it and drop it into My Measurements, you can see it's now appeared in My Measurements. So I'm looking at the folder up here, 170109. As you can see, it's in uh, reverse date order. So if you double click into that folder, you'll then see your measurement. Now you can right click this measurement and convert this to an Excel sheet, a text sheet, or you can just get a, an overview Excel sheet. You're able to also uh, copy and paste this measurement. So the first thing you're going to do is to convert this to an Excel document. It now converts the file, creates a global, and a profile report.
Okay, so global is our measurement from uh, our values from start to finish, and the profile are the values for the resolution that you have logged. So in most cases, this might be every one second. So if we double click the global, we can see the overall results. The file will now open as an Excel sheet, and you can see the values here. At the bottom, you'll have the tabs, so you can look at our 90s and so on, our max, and all the values. If we go back to Norexfer, you can also open the profile measurement. So you can see the values for each period. In this case, I've done periods of one second.